Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is vCenter Server Move VM or Cold Migration, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we're in vCenter Server on hosts and clusters and if I have a look at the list of VMs, we have a list down the middle and I've got one called VROPS31 which I want to move from one host to another. It's currently on ESXi 14 and it's currently powered off. You can see here it's got 274 gig of storage allocated but only 29 gig used. It's on a data store called 240 General. It's on VLAN standard, sorry, standard switch zero, VLAN zero. And it's currently on host ESXi 14. So what I'm going to do is right click and migrate. And because the machine is powered off, this is a cold migration. Uh, I'm going to change the host and the storage. I'm going to move it from local storage on 14 to local storage on another host. I'm going to move it from 14 to 13. I'm going to use the 500 VROPS data store and I'm going to thin provision. I'm going to keep the same network, standard switch 0, VLAN 0. A quick summary. And I'm going to start the migration and we'll see the progress move at the bottom of the screen as the storage and all the data and files are being moved from one host to another, from one data store to another. And once this is completed, the machine will be reassigned from 14 to 13. So the migration is complete. We now have a different data store that the virtual machine files live on. And we're now on host 13 from host 14. So 13 500 VROPS data store. And we can see it now belongs, it's in a different cluster under a different host. I'm just proving that it really is there. There are all the virtual machines running on ESXi 13. So that was vCenter Server, Move a VM or Cold Migration, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.